Hey, this is Adam with TechDive AV Club. We are in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we're going to talk about how to do a text scroll where your text scrolls across the screen like you see here. So uh, as you saw in the beginning, that was a excerpt from um, Orson Welles' famous War of the Worlds broadcast. Uh, we're going to use a little bit of that here, but not as long, um, so we can demonstrate the effect. Now, the first thing we're going to do is highlight this picture in picture track and delete it because it's just going to get in our way. Uh, if you want to know more about tracks and stuff, you need to check out the beginner's guide if you haven't already. Um, but this text track here is where we're going to be putting the text. But just as a reminder, this doesn't have to say text. It can say Billy or whatever. Nothing is dedicated to one thing or the other. This is just a suggestion. So uh, next, we're actually going to grab the text. So if you go to your Media Generators tab right here, and then go to your Titles and Text, then we're going to grab the sample text and drag it down. And pretty simple so far. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and highlight this text, and we're going to change it to what we want. It's like maybe size 16, uh, different kind of font or whatever and you can notice how we can move it around the screen we're about to do that a whole lot more in a second let me grab a little bit of that world of worlds text something a little bit longer than a line and put it in there now as long as you have no enter no return it will continue to go without wrapping so this can be as long as you want it to be and then uh so as soon as you have however much you need information in there the longer, the more difficult and unwieldy it will be to move around, but it's very possible, very doable. It can be very, very, very long. Um, now we're going to grab it and move it all the way to the beginning. Mine's pretty short just to make it easier to show you what's going on in the tutorial. Um, you move it just off screen here. And where I have it just off screen, um, you can see it says 0.12. I actually want this to be 0.10 because this last little coordinate here is how low it is on the screen. And now let's hit this boom animate create and then what we can do is this first keyframe here is this whatever we have here on this keyframe is the first inf bit of information that's happening so it will start over here and then we're going to move all the way to the end of the text track and then we're going to hit create keyframe and then now we can grab our text over here and then we just drag it now the text still exists still exists if you see here and it's scrolling, um, but what we want, but where we are right now, it's actually showing just past the text track because it's on the very last frame. So don't worry about that. If you don't see your text, it's still there. And then we're going to drag all the way just off. Uh, but we can see I got lucky, and it's just on point ten. If yours is too high or too low, you can make sure as long as it doesn't have to be point ten. As long as these are matching in this last coordinate, then you will have the right height, the right location there. So. Um, the last coordinate is how tall or short it is, where it exists on the um, y-axis of the screen there. So next, what we're going to do is um, we're going to check it, check it out, and see what happens. So this is 10 seconds of text scroll. And it, if you look at it, if you try and play it back, it's actually scrolling pretty good. Sometimes when it gets really long, it'll have a bit of buffering to do, and you'll see a little dot, dot, dot after the frames. That's okay. If that happens, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, you might have to pre-render it to see it better. Uh, to do that, you just highlight the text, right-click, and selectively pre-render the video, and then you can see it nice and smooth. Now you're thinking, but if I have a lot of text, that scrolls way too fast. If you want to slow it down, you go back into your generated media and you want to change the duration how long it takes to get to the end here how long this text piece is going to be so let's say this is this is frames this is seconds this is minutes this is hours so these two right here the 10 that's 10 seconds we're going to change that to a 30 and hit enter if you don't hit enter it won't work 30 and you'll have 30 seconds now you can see it's still the keyframes were done at the 10 second but we have 20 more seconds on our timeline down here just click this keyframe and drag it all the way to the end. Now it takes 30 seconds for the text to scroll. But you'll notice this is still 10 seconds down here. That's all right. You can grab the end piece here like we did in the intro tutorial and make it as long as you want. You'll notice at the 30, at the 30 seconds, it is has a notch on it. Whenever you see a notch in your event tracks, it's wrapping. It is um it is repeating itself. Uh, so it goes 30 seconds 
that scroll works nice and slow. We can watch it back. It might be a little laggy, but it's going nice and slow. It won't be as choppy when you render it out finally. And then uh, you can make it as long as your media. And remember, the notch means it repeats. So if you have a lot of text it's scrolling at the right speed, you've already got that handled. I'm going to use my mouse wheel to scroll out so I can see all of my media on the timeline. I'm going to drag this to the very end to where it boom snaps. And now I have a text crawl that is crawling the entire time over and over again in the right spot. So that is how to create a text scroll. Oh, wait, I forgot. I do want to show you how to do the little background here. So if you right click on the track and hit insert video track or hit control shift Q, if you want to, you can move this track up one and leave a gap track in the middle. And with this gap track, you can do something very simple. Go to your media generators tab, grab a solid color like black. And at first you'll be covering up everything, but it won't be long. You can make it the same length, the same way you move the text and the same length as your text track. And then you go to the event pan crop button here. Make sure you're on the first keyframe. You don't want to make two keyframes or you'll accidentally animate it. And make sure this lock aspect ratio is off. If it's highlighted, it's on. Make sure it's off because you want to be able to do this. Make it move, not together, not in a locked aspect ratio. And then you can make a bar, a black bar. Now, this is really handy, but it's in the middle of the screen. So to any time you want to move something in uh, Movie Studios or Vegas Pro, you just go to Video Effect, type in Picture and Picture, and there you go. You found your Picture and Picture track, and just drag it to the clip. You're thinking, oh, but it's too small now. It's okay. Uh, it's because it's at 0.5 scale. If you change it just to a 1, it'll be a perfect scale. You can change it a little bit above 1 if you don't want to have to be so pixel perfect when you match it. Um, whatever you want to do there, however you want to do it. It's fine, and then you just grab and move it. As long as this vents up, you can just grab and move it anywhere on the screen. So you get it where you want it there, and then you can change the opacity by this bar in the center. You can move it down, like so. And now it's slightly see-through. So there you go. Now you can see the text scrolling. There is a black bar behind it. It takes, it repeats itself. It is the amount of distance and the timing that you need it to be. So like if this video helped you out, subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. This video was suggested to me by a subscriber. So let me know if you have a video idea below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I really do go back through and read these uh, suggestions often. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.